morning from Houston, Texas. We are at the Bassmaster Classic. Never thought I'd be here, but uh, you can see it's the opening minutes of the Bassmaster Classic show. Um, look at this line of people. It's, this is incredible. I've never been around this this environment before, but I know there's a lot of like-minded people here that love to get outside, like to fish, like to hunt. So we are very honored to uh, have a clone, our clone vehicle, with uh, traveling with Toyota for their auto show circuit. It's been to the Chicago Auto Show, uh, a whole bunch of other ones in Detroit. Um, and now we've got it here at the Bassmaster Classic. Jeff and I are here to represent, talk, talk shop with everyone. Oh, hey there. Oh, hey there. How's it going? So, good to see you guys. We, we haven't actually really talked much about the clone and what it was for, but uh, it, it was specifically designed for Toyota so that they could take it on tour and have people get exposed to an overland vehicle, in particular an expedition overland vehicle, which is pretty dang rad for us, and uh, we're pretty stoked. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have Jeff walk you around. I'll flip the camera here. Here we go. Jeff, right. show us the clone. Okay, here it is. It's beautiful. This is actually an exact replica of Apollo. Uh, so we kept the inside simple, did all the expedition stuff on the outside. So up front you can see we went with the hidden winch system again. One of my favorite features of this, which we haven't done on our other ones yet, is the detail trim. I'm a nerd like that around the edges here. So fancy. So fancy. It's a show truck, yeah. Uh, so yeah, did the Warren Zeon up front. We've got our Easy On awning out here on the side. Of course, our Easy On tint. Alley box is up top with the rigid light. Uh, and if we go around the back here. Morning. Hi. Morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. We've got our CBI bumper. We did the dual swing outs on this. They do have a little bit of a different angle here on this swing out which is really nice it steps back off of the vehicle a little bit more uh, and then we got our cans tires max tracks pilot jack and of course we got the grabber x3s on here too so we're really happy with how this turned out it's going all over the country getting us exposure um, and it's showing our partnership with Toyota as well so we're really stoked to be here it's kind of a new new world to us but we're, we're glad to be exposed and to have other people see the vehicle too so we're going to hang Welcome out and talk to people. To the Come on by. Kaiko Bass Classic Outdoor Expo presented by Dick's Sporting Goods. There it is, the official announcement. Yeah, so let me see. Get to know Aaron Martins and his sponsor Duo International. We'll let this At the reality pass for a second. The second. 1345. Duo International, Japan's premium lure company. So new that it still has the wrapper on it. I know a lot of people are going to ask, what's the plan with the clone after this? And I got to tell you, I don't know what the plan is. Um, it's it's a Toyota-owned vehicle. It's not ours. So it's quite loud in here. Get a free screen printed t-shirt. Stand by. Come hang out with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 11.30 to 12.30. Want to hang out with the Ninja Turtles? Ninja Turtles, yeah. <laughs> this is hilarious. Special appearances by John B., Alex Perry, Clay and Croft, Blair. Jeff Downer. <laughs> YouTubers. From to YouTubers. On this is good. I guess we're YouTubers. Yeah. We're YouTubers. Sorry. Sorry for all the BS, but that is really loud. <laughs> um, okay, so anyway. What what, what are we going to do with the clone? Um, we don't know yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll come back to this after the four hours of announcements are over. So, we can hear you fine despite the announcer. Okay, great. That's great. Thank you. Um, okay, so we don't know what's going on uh, with what the clone after this. This is a Toyota vehicle, so uh, they they have whatever they want. It. They can do whatever they want with this after we're done. But uh, I, I can say that we're working on some other vehicles, and there are some big announcements coming soon. So 
Uh, we're, we're really excited. We've been working for a very long time to continue what we're doing with expeditions and making movies. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, we'll be home on Sunday and starting on Monday, coming up Monday, we're going to be doing, I'm personally going to be doing a lot more videos on the go live uh, feature from YouTube because of what it, all the stuff that we have coming up in the next, particularly the next two months, there's just no way that we would be able to film them and produce uh, short daily videos on what we're doing. So we decided that we're gonna have to do it live. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of us uh, from the, the YouTube live side. So subscribe if you haven't, they'll keep it in your newsfeed and give you emails. You broke it. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna scroll through the questions here real quick. See if I can see some. This is my first time. Hang tight with me. Let's see. This is crazy. Isn't technology awesome? 31 questions already. Where are we going next? Okay, here I figured it out. Okay. Greetings from Germany, hello. Uh, are those Alubox 42 or 81? They are the 42. It is the, let's look at them here. The Alubox 42, they are probably our most favorite size because they, they just kind of seem to do everything. They fit a lot of stuff and uh, they, they stack really nice and they just seem to fit in places and cars that are, um, they're not bulky or anything. They just have the right size to them. So. Let's see, chat here. Let's see, if you have any other vehicle questions, I'll gladly hop on here and, and answer those for you. Do I have any inside scoop on the 2018 Forerunner? A little bit, but I can't share. Um, sorry about that. But as always, it'll be pretty rad. Any plans for the next expedition? Absolutely. Stay tuned. Uh, can we get a tour of the shop? Yes, that, that'll be part of what we'll be going over in the next couple months. Um, the shop is just now finished. We call it the X-Hanger. And uh, we've been loving it. That, that shop has made a huge improvement to our, our team and our business. And uh, I think it's just allowed us to do so much more. So uh, we'll be giving you guys a tour on that as soon as we can. It's it's kind of it's break up in Montana right now, which means that the 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 snow and everything is just it looks like crap in Montana right now as it thaws out. But as soon as we got some good weather and, and the grounds dried out and stuff, we're gonna be seeding the grass around it, and we'll be able to get in there and uh, show you guys the 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 shop for real. So. Uh, Let's see. What was the overall cost of the Apollo build? Some of that's hard to say. Um, I would estimate the Apollo build, which this is very similar. If you were to buy a new vehicle uh, from Toyota, that 4Runner would be like 38,000 to 40,000, depending. I think that math is right. And then we've probably added an additional 20 grand in product on that. Uh, so you're, you're looking at 60,000-ish for uh, a setup like Apollo with the hidden winches and the, and the worn winch and you know all the fine details that eventually kind of add up. But yeah, that's kind of the rough cost of what one of those would co cost. Let's see, any plans on an FJ Cruiser build? Sorry, sadly not. Um, the reason being is just because the FJ Cruiser has been discontinued by Toyota. And because of our partnership with Toyota, we get to work with them on their newer models. That's what makes sense for Toyota. I get it 100% from uh, the Toyota's in and why they would do that. Uh, but the FJ Cruiser is a wonderful vehicle and the enthusiasts of FJ Cruisers are fantastic. And we've, we've gone to FJ Summit for the last three years straight. And uh, so if you're interested in that, check out FJ Summit uh, for, the, for that community of people around FJs, which you probably already know about, FJ Cruiser Man. Say, 
Does the 4Runner have the same suspension and differential upgrades as Apollo? Yes. Uh, this is the Icon Stage 7 suspension on uh, the clone here. Bass would like to welcome all active so, military personnel. It's got Look for special discounts from the, the upper controller arms, throughout the, show. the CDC, for your service. and it is tuned appropriately just like the other one, uh, just like Apollo, uh, for the weights of the vehicle and more. So. Uh, th this 4Runner right here, yeah. the clone as we call it, is 100% legit. So th this could, uh, you know, you could turn the key and, and drive it to Panama today if you wanted to. Which is pretty cool. There's nothing, nothing, you know, fake about it. It's, it's the real deal. So, well, I'm going to scan through here real quick, get a couple more questions, and then I'll probably close it up because I think i got to go talk to some folks here. Um, come back again, blah, blah, blah. Can we get a tour of the tent? Yes. So this is the Easy On 1400. Scott and I have many nights. Steve Talaki and Kurt have many nights in one of these tents. Um, this is actually one of the, more, the narrower of the, of the Easy On tents but they're the lightest and that's important to us and they're, we find them to be the, the simplest to set up and down, uh, to, to, to set up and tear down. So, um, you know, tons of ventilation in these. We, we've been running uh, the Easy On tents since the Alaska Yukon Expedition, which was back in 2013. So, and the tents that were on that expedition went on the Central America Expedition that also went on the drive to the summit stuff, and then the return to the McKinsey, and I think I said Central America, but uh, and then and then they will go beyond. So I think that's just a testament to the build quality and kind of what you get with an Easy On tent because it's now 2017 and we're running the same tents that we were sponsored with originally in 2013. So uh, you kind of get what you pay for on a lot of this stuff. But the important thing is, is to get out there and do it. There is a lot of, I mean, you look at the clone, it's expensive. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. But you have to understand that we're coming from a sponsorship position because of we're in business to do this now. This is how we make our living. But I don't want people to get lost in, in no, thinking that, well, I have to have all of this stuff to be able to go do it. Absolutely not. You can go right now, probably in the car that you have, and go overlanding and start getting your experience. So that's my little plug there. All right. Let's find out some more. You just get to stare at me for a second while I look through the questions. Does the clone have a ham radio installed? No, we did not do that. Just because we didn't know where uh, this truck would go and you need a license to run the ham radios and stuff so we just we didn't go that far with this one we did uh let's see no no we didn't even add the antenna for the looks but um let's see next will there be a tour of the new hq absolutely it's coming soon uh, what's your expedition weight i don't know offhand but it's um I think it was on Rufio, 6,000 pounds. Size of the tires, they're equivalent to 33s. The General X3s, 285, I always get that wrong. 285, yeah, the 285-70R17s because they're on the 17 inch wheel. Um, how many days deep is the beard? Huh. Like three years, I can't grow a beard worth anything. Uh, let's see. How did you get your first sponsorship? Ooh, I think that is a question for another day because that is a, an involved question and a very good Mark question. So, Rose, Mark Rose, and well, it's Cruz. we're rolling on 15 Mark minutes Cruz. here. I just want to say thanks. Come see us at the uh, Bass Pro Mark Classic Cruz. Show. We're at the on the convention side. Uh, Recap, there's a lot of new information coming out next week on what we're doing and what's happening next. Uh, we'll, the next show that Jeff and I will be at and the rest of the team will be Overland Expo West. 
Uh, we're going to have a, a pretty awesome good presence down there. We'll be right next to uh, equipped Expedition Outfitters and uh, Adventure Trailers, Goose Gear, Overland Journal. I think we'll be right there with all those guys. So we're really excited about that. And we're going to have two booths this year at Expo. And one of them will be a production tent. We're going to be making movies uh, about anything and everything. We're calling it the Overland Roadshow uh, while we're down there. So come, come see us at Overland Expo West. And uh, come see us today through Sunday at Bassmaster Classic. You guys have a good day. See how to shut this thing off now. There it is. Finish.